being here with all of you. And if any of you here don't feel that way, come talk to me because we gotta change something here at that. But I hope that when you guys come here and we're together, that you guys have peace, joy, and happiness. And so I've been asked to read um, our vision for this year as a church, Hebrews 12, 2. Fixing our eyes on Jesus. Oh, yeah, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. And I love this. I'm seeking you pick this for our vision for this year, our goal. But um, just to help us more with it, you know, have any of you ever read the verse before it or the verse after it? Because if you don't, then you don't have the whole beauty and picture of what God is trying to teach us here. So I'm going I'm to read it for us. Therefore, we are surrounded by many witnesses. Let us throw away anything that hinders us. The sin that makes us tangled so easily. And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. So God is saying in this life, we have brothers and sisters here who all see us. And we can say to each other all of our sins that we struggle with, everything that we hold on to that doesn't matter. We can say to each other, hey, you guys all saw that I declare these things dead to me. When I do that and I run my race with God, then I will fix my eyes on Jesus, the pioneer of my faith. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinners so that you would not grow weary in his heart. So I hope that in your life, as you guys continue and continue to fight the good fight, resist sin in your life, that you let go of the things that don't matter anymore in your life. Um, maybe that's some things that you value that aren't things God values. Maybe it's some things you like to do or believe in that aren't really things that God likes or believes in. It can play out in a lot of different ways. But I just want us to chew on that thought. And what the last thing God says is, which is, because you are my children, I discipline you. I think most people have a saying, right? Right? Something like that. <laughs> it's something like that, right? If God loves us, that's when he says, do better. And that's how I know we're all loved, because he constantly has called us to do right and good. So I hope we keep that in mind today as we join together. I love all of y'all. Let's pray and let's give glory to God. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much that you love us enough to discipline us, to say what you do is not good enough. What you do is wrong. What you do is evil. Because you love us and you want us to give us you are in it, God. And with all that, I hope that all fears, all worries, all, all those things that are bad like that, Lord, that we can cast them away and put it in you, God, and say, it's going to all be okay because we have you, God. And with that, we praise your holy name, God, and we'll sing songs of worship to you because of your goodness. All God's people say, amen.